This is The Survivor Experiment. My name is Lee and I am a Survivor super fan from Australia. Ever since the first series I have fantasised if I had what it took to be the ultimate survivor. When I heard that Survivor was coming to Australia and started watching Sakao Rong of Cambodia, I decided to get off the couch and reach out to my friends, find which friends had unique skills that could help me and go out and learn something new. Did you know that Richard Hatch, million dollar badass schemer of season one was bitten by a shark in Survivor All-Stars? Who can forget Oscar Aussie Lust, three time Survivor and runner up in Pearl Islands and his amazing spearfishing skills. Part man, part fish, he holds the record for the biggest fish ever speared on Survivor. So let's see what it takes. Reach out, find out, go out on the Survivor experiment. This week on The Survivor Experiment, I meet up with Alex, who teaches me the fine art of spearing fish using the hand spear. So I go to my local BCF and get a cheap alloy hand spear. I take out my old snorkel from Rebel Sports and borrow some fins and a shark shield from a friend. My first shot at a magpie perch. Unsuccessful, but <sighs> gotta go down again. <sighs> I hit him, but so hard. of water there. Got my first. So it's been almost an hour and a half out in the water. Fucking freezing. Not sure how I will survive in actual Survivor. You might be wondering why I'm not wearing a wetsuit. Well, certainly we're not going to get wetsuits on Survivor. And also, I had to practice swimming without a dive belt and a wetsuit really makes you buoyant. Uh, one thing I've learned today is that Cheap hand spears are shit. You might injure a fish, but you might not catch it. And yeah, spear guns are so much easier. Anyway, still an awesome experience with this beach. All to ourselves. That's what it's all about, reaching out, finding out, and getting out and learning something new. Help sponsor my next skill. Can you help teach me how to make a fire with flint, kick someone's ass, or solve puzzles? The fire making challenge, also known as fast fire, is a recurring challenge on Survivor. Contestants must make a fire using flint, burning a string across their fire. Not only is this an essential skill in survival, but also can help win immunity. Can you help teach me how to kick someone's ass? Basket brawl is a very common recurring challenge in Survivor. Players must shoot a ball into a basketball style hoop whilst wrestling other players 
in the water. This is a brutal challenge similar to another physical challenge in Survivor called Survivor Sumo, where players must push the other player off a platform into the mud. Now I know there must be some friends in my circle who have some martial arts experience or wrestling or footy experience that can help me with this. So please sponsor that skill for me and help teach me how to kick someone's ass in a game show like Survivor. Maybe you have a secret judo technique or some special center of gravity technique. So please help teach me this. Now I know this is pretty obscure, but anyone out there know how to do a puzzle? I have no idea how to really do puzzles. From what I've noticed, the most common puzzles are the slide puzzle and the jigsaw puzzle. Essentially every challenge has a physical element and a puzzle element. So I don't know, I'm open to suggestions. Anyone out there with puzzle experience? Special thanks goes out to Alex for sponsoring me his spearfishing skill. And thank you for watching my video and don't forget to like this video on YouTube and like my Facebook page. See ya. Reached out to Alex here, who uh, I met on a Facebook forum. Now, Alex, have you seen the show Survivor? I have seen the show Survivor, yeah. Awesome. So what skill are you going to sponsor me today, Alex? I'm going to sponsor Lee here with uh, spearfishing today. Awesome. What tip would you uh, give someone who wants to go spearfishing? Uh, relax, enjoy yourself, and um, it all comes with time on the water. So spend as much time on the water as you can and have fun. Awesome. So the final step is to get out there and learn that skill. So what gear have you got today? Uh, just out here we've got the DIY float a friend and I put together. So it's just a boogie board with some tow points attached for the float line underneath here. Awesome. That attaches to the gun here via this shark clip. It's just like a pretty standard kind of beginning gun, 90 centimeters. Awesome. Uh, little dive knife, dispatching fish and yeah, in a sticky situation could help you out. And, um, Awesome. And how does that compare to a hand spear? Have you ever used a hand spear before? Yeah, I've used a hand spear. Um, it gives you more range. It gives you a bit more stomping power for a bigger fish if you see one. Alright, well mine's still new in the packet, so wish me luck. Been out here for about 20 minutes now. I can see a, another magpie perch. It's getting a bit cold, so I'm just going to have to go for it. It's <laughs> my third try. It's not sticking. <clears throat> so, I'm going to ask my friend Alex if there's any other tips. Maybe I'll not. So I don't know if you had much experience with hand spears, but I hit them, but they don't pierce or they don't stick onto the end of my spear. Any advice? Uh, to be honest with you, I reckon the best advice is to invest in a better hand spear. I've never had that problem. <laughs> All right. Or pull back the rubber a bit further so you got some more stopping power. Okay, going into I'll pull it back further. Are you, are you piercing them fully or not piercing at all? Uh, I think the second one it hit and then it just flew off. But it just seems to be bouncing off. Okay. What? Well, I'll load up my gun for you and you can give that a crack and I'll take the hand spear and see how she goes. Oh yeah, sick. Decent fish. Looks about, what, 400 grams? Yeah, probably roughly. Sashimi on Survivor. We got some eating to do. Definitely the biggest fish anyone's ever speared in this game, I'm sure. Maybe the biggest fish anyone's ever caught in this game. 